One day, Amir al-Mu'mineen, Imam Ali alayhi salam with his son, Imam al-Hussein, were in Masjid al-Haram. And they had done tawaf, and it was night, it was dark, the masjid was empty, and they were praying and supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and they heard the voice of a young man near the Kaaba, and he had raised his voice and supplicating to Allah, begging Allah, pleading to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to relieve him from his difficulty. And his munajat was extremely beautiful. His supplication was extremely touching. So Amir al-Mu'mineen says to Imam al Hussein, Oh my son Hussein, go and see who this young man is. Bring him to me. I want to meet him. I want to see him. So Imam al Hussein went looking for him. He found him. And he, held, he had to help this young man get to Amir why? Because this young man was mashlul. He was handicapped. He could not walk. He had lost the ability to use his legs and his arms. So he came and they put him in front of Amir al Mu'mineen. He says, Amir al Mu'mineen says to him, Oh young man, what's happened to you? Why are you in this state? He says, Ya Amir al Mu'mineen, it's a long story. A story of agony, a story of regret. I cannot believe what I have done. Allah is punishing me. What is the story, young man? He says, when I was young, every single night I used to drink and I used to come home intoxicated. And one day when I came home, I wanted to take money from my father and my father had kept his money in a safe. He told me, son, you're drunk, you're intoxicated. Don't take this money. I work hard for this money. We had a back and forth with my father and my father kept resisting. Being a young man and I, I was also drunk, I punched my father and my father collapsed and he fell on the ground. I took the money. I was about to leave my father looked at me and he said son don't do that if you walk away from this door I will go and I will do dua against you because I raised you I took care of you I nurtured you I stayed up nights so that you can be safe and you can feel safe and now you've taken safety from me you not only assaulted me but you're also taking my money do not do that he said I didn't care Imam al-Sadiq I'll just tell you this Imam al-Sadiq says the dua of a mazloom is always answered by Allah. Even if he is a fasa, even if this person is full of sin, even if the person is a non-believer, if he is a mazloom and he prays, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala acknowledges and answers his dua immediately. So the father got up, he went, he held the ropes of the Kaaba and he prayed against his son. He said, I came home, I slept the next day, couldn't walk. I was handicapped. Couldn't use my hands. I couldn't use my feet. And he said, I started begging my father. Oh, father, please forgive me. I am sorry. I will change. I will cleanse myself. And my father was very upset. It took him a very long time, years, when he felt sorry for me. And I had changed my ways. And I stopped drinking. And I was prayerful. And I was respectful. So my father felt sorry for me. He said, son, carry me. Let us go to the Kaaba. Once we get to the Kaaba, I will hold on to the ropes of the Kaaba. And I will pray for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you a cure. He said, I was so excited because he couldn't walk. They put him on top of a camel. So he was just sitting there. His father was holding on to the camel. He said, as soon as we reach the gates of Masjid al-Haram, the she camel saw something. Something happened. It was afraid. So it started running. My father was hit by the she camel and he died right there and then. So we never made it inside Masjid al-Haram. My father is now long gone. And I come here and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I'm really regretful of what I have done. I wonder if there is a way for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to answer my dua. Imam Amir al-Mu'mineen because he knew this guy was full of regret. He knew he had done tawbah. And more importantly that his father left this dunya when he was pleased with his son. He had forgiven his son. Amir al-Mu'mineen says, I'm going to teach you a dua. This dua was taught to me by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam and this dua is Ismullah al-A'zam Allah's grand name and we know that with Allah's grand name you can move mountains you can create miracles you can resurrect the dead so Imam Amir al-Mu'mineen says in this dua it is dua Ismullah al-A'zam Imam says go and read this dua this young man goes reads the dua he wakes up the next day and he's running to Imam Amir al-Mu'mineen Ya Amir al-Mu'mineen I am cured thank you and it's known as dua al-Mashlul and we have access to that treasure dua al-Mashlul is in Mafatih al-Janan imagine we have this dua and we can read this dua and we can supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with that dua which was taught by Rasulullah to Amir al-Mu'mineen